while its neighboring countries, like South Korea and China, are unveiling their own versions of super-fast trains. India is not left out in the race of acquiring its own set of bullet trains. Hold on to that thought because we're about to dive into the thrilling world of the race to build India's first bullet train. See in this video. We'll provide more details about India's exciting plan to introduce these high-speed bullet trains to its transportation system. Now India is preparing to launch its first high-speed train, a bullet train for the public to ride by 2026. This train will travel along a 50-kilometer route from Surat to Bilmora. The project to build this speedy train in India was initially supposed to start in 2020. Still, it got delayed because of the COVID-19 pandemic. The first bullet train in India is expected to finally begin its journey in 2026. Bullet trains are super-fast trains that were first created in Japan. They use a unique technology called Shinkansen, which allows them to quickly move and cover long distances in seconds. What do you know about bullet trains? Bullet trains are super-fast passenger trains that zoom along unique high-speed tracks. India's government is finally bringing its first-ever bullet train to the public in 2026. These trains have their own dedicated routes and use advanced rolling stock technology. The very first bullet train called the Tokaido Shinkansen made its debut in Japan back in 1964. Interestingly, Madhav Rao Sindhya, who served as India's railway minister in the mid-1980s, suggested the idea of having bullet trains in India. Bullet trains are known for their high speeds, typically cruising at a minimum of 200-250 km per hour. What is the first bullet train in India going to look like? To the Delhi Bapal Vandi, Bairat Express stands as India's swiftest train. This train can zip along at a remarkable speed of 180 km per hour, although it usually operates at a top speed of 160 km per hour. The Vande Bharat Express runs on 14 routes and commenced its service in 2019. However, it's worth noting that the Mumbai Ahmedabad High Speed Rail Project is in the works and is expected to overtake the Vande Bharat Express as the fastest train in India. The idea of bringing super fast bullet trains to India was first suggested by a former railway minister named Madhav Rawi Sindhya in the 1980s. At that time, the idea was put aside because it seemed too expensive and people worried the tickets would be too expensive. However, in 2014, the political party in power, the BJP, brought this idea back into their election plans. They wanted to use bullet trains to create the Diamond Quadrilateral, a network of high-speed trains connecting India's four major cities, Mumbai, Delhi, Kolkata, and Chennai. After winning the election, the government made this project a top priority. The first high-speed train route they planned was between Ahmedabad and Mumbai, and they're currently building it. The first bullet train in India is expected to be up and running by 2026. Japan is a big supporter of this project, providing technology and money to make it happen. There are discussions about creating more high-speed train routes, connecting different parts of India using bullet trains. Rajendra Prasad, the head of the National High Speed Rail Corporation Limited, said on December 21 that they aim to start running high-speed trains in Gujarat by August 2027. These fast trains will travel through Gujarat, Dadra Nagar Havli, and Maharashtra. Right Sayur CCR, the NHRCL was set up on February 12, 2016, to manage the construction and operation of high-speed trains in India. A special team was created for this purpose, involving the Gujarat and Maharashtra governments and the central government through the Ministry of Railways. In terms of money, the central government will provide RS 10,000 core to the NHRCL for the project. Gujarat and Maharashtra, the two states involved, will each contribute RS 5,000 core. Japan will also provide funds through a loan with a meager 0.1 interest rate to Gujarat. They've already acquired nearly 99 of the land needed for the project, which amounts to 943.53 hectares out of the total 954.3 hectares required in the state. To Nandadra and Nagar Havli, they've successfully acquired all 7.90 hectares of the required land. In Maharashtra, they've obtained 98.2 of the land, needed 422 fine 77 hectares out of 430.45 hectares. This project in Maharashtra spans across Thane, Palgar, and Mumbai. A tender has been issued, and construction work in Maharashtra will begin very soon. This project was approved in December 2015, with an estimated cost of RS 108,000 crore, and a significant 80 of the funding comes from Japan as a loan, which is quite convenient. Regarding the partnership between India and Japan for this project, Prasad mentioned that Japan's Shinkansen train has a spotless safety record with zero fatalities. Japan is known for its high-quality work globally, 
Indian engineers will also receive training in Japan as part of this collaboration. He also highlighted that some components used in building the rail infrastructure are made in India, which is a source of pride for the country. They've completed 220 kilometers of piling work, and the team works around the clock. They are confident that a trial run from Surat to Bilimora will be conducted by June 2026. Mumbai e Ahmedabad High Speed Rail MAHSR This bullet train, nicknamed for its sleek and fast design, will travel through the western part of India, covering a distance of 508.17 kilometers between Mumbai and Ahmedabad in just around two hours. This is a significant time savings compared to the current travel times, which are about nine hours by bus or six hours by regular train. Contracts for building a bullet train station at the Bandrakurla complex and constructing an underground tunnel have also been assigned. Soon, you'll see the construction of piers and girders in Maharashtra, similar to what's happening in Gujarat. However, it's worth noting that the Mumbai Ahmedabad high-speed rail project has faced delays, mainly due to land acquisition in Maharashtra. These delays affected the finalization of contracts and the COVID-19 pandemic also had an adverse impact. This information was provided by Union Railways Minister Ashwini Vaishno in a written response to a question in the Lok Sabha in March. Now the new government, led by Chief Minister Ekanath Shino Stain Day and Deputy Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis is working to get India's first high-speed rail project back on track in Maharashtra. When and how did this idea about the bullet train in India come about? The Ministry of Railways presented Vision 2020 to the Parliament of India on December 18, 2009. In this document, they outlined their vision for various railway projects in India, including the introduction of bullet trains. These bullet trains are designed to operate at speeds ranging from 250 to 350 kilometers per hour in many parts of the country. There are plans for different routes where these high-speed trains will run, the dream of having bullet trains in India has become a reality in some areas. It is expected to be fully realized by 2028. The first phase, with partial service from Surat to Bilmora, is anticipated to begin in 2026. As more high-speed rail routes are developed, travel times will be reduced, making it easier to get around the country. The high-speed train project is also expected to create numerous job opportunities, contributing to India's economic growth. Furthermore, it will play a significant role in driving technological advancements in India's future. So this is where we end this video. Do you think this bullet train will be the fastest in the world? You can comment below. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.